for the moment, uh, Cyclone Piper Joy has not yet hit the southern coasts of Pakistan, but according to the Meteorological Department, the cyclone could arrive on the coasts uh, at around noon local time and make landfall on the border of Pakistan and India. The trajectory of the cyclone has become more clearer over the past few hours. Uh, it has moved uh, northeast, which means that the Pakistan's largest city and the country's economic hub of Karachi will largely be spared. The cyclone is expected to hit uh, the port of Keti Bandar in Thatha district and then moves inland. It is expected it will lose its strength soon after it hits the land. Winds are expected to reach uh, around 130 kilometers per hour and torrential rains are also expected. Uh, nearly 70,000 people have been evacuated from areas that are at risk. Uh, they have been accommodated in emergency uh, camps that have been set up in schools. And the army has also been called in uh, the last uh, 48 hours to help with evacuations. And cyclones and other climate disasters like flooding are becoming more intense and frequent in Pakistan. Can you tell us a bit about the toll that it's been taking on the country? Well, Pakistan has been at the forefront of climate change in the past year. Only 10 months ago, Pakistan faced devastating floods that drowned almost one-third of the country. And now there is this cyclone. And the population that will be uh, affected by this cyclone are mostly the ones that were also severely impacted by last year's floods. The coastal district of Thatta, that will be the most impacted district, uh, uh, was also drowned by the floods last year. People uh, there had lost their homes, their agriculture fields were damaged by the floods and now the, vo the violent winds from the cyclone will cause further damage. But the torrential rains uh, that are likely uh, th th that will come with the cyclone are likely to cause further flooding and the salty seawater is likely to rise and take over a sizable area it and it will it will deal a major blow to the agriculture fields and crops that will have consequences that will be felt for several months. So an other disaster is on the horizon on top of last year's flooding and and it will again be impacting the poorest segment of the population, also at a time when Pakistan is going through a severe economic crisis.